to the churlish Captain K.P. Hobb, venerated soldier of the Goblin Court, to the Master of Ceremonies, Delosa de la Rue, pride of the Court of Wonder. I'm gonna burst in if I can. <sighs> Your Highness, when, you were in the, when we were in the tailor shop, you were reading minds. Mm -hmm. Did you, I assumed you heard some stuff that I was thinking and were just being very polite and not mentioning anything. Did you hear anything that either the Lady Binks or Delosa de la Rue were thinking about messages or anything else of that nature? Did you, did you hear anything else that they said? Uh, uh, to be quite honest, um, I was trying to be polite, so I was only listening to how much I could listen to, but I was picking up a lot of vibes. <laughs> a lot of... <laughs> be more specific! <laughs> Oh, KP, just go. Go tell them. Go tell them. Oh. oh. I heard a bit of your earlier conversation. You very much are a good person. Thank you. Oh. Your Highness. Uh, and I'm going to uh, uh, sprint to find Rue. Let's just follow it right there. And dash his away. Major Hob. <clears throat> That was a battle, wasn't it? <laughs> we did it. We were successful in our mission. Congratulations. I'm sure you have to report to the Goblin Court and uh, debrief <laughs> whatever it is that you do. I think I was looking for clarity from Andhera and Andhera to tell me something so that I wouldn't have to be afraid of rejection, but I'm holding this rests within me. And I, this should be scary, I'm a goblin after all. So I approach and say, no word of any sort or kind did I receive at any point to indicate to me that there was sentiment as you have described. You asked me, and before you say if you did say indeed words, whether in writing or in speech that simply never reached my ears, I take this moment then not to be certain, for I need you to hear this knowing that I am uncertain of the world that awaits me when I finish speaking. You spoke to me of honor. Honor to me means something deep and profound. It is the pursuit of what is right when circumstances are against you. It is the doing of what is good and noble when the world conspires to prevent you from it. And in that sense, I have never lived an honorable day. Every service I have done has been the path of least resistance. Every suffering of mine has been because I feared and feared greatly. To disappoint, to earn scorn. Each day I have been a coward. And seeing you in this bloom, I have seen true bravery, without which there can be no honor. So, if you would let me act with honor for the first time in my life, I would ask you for your hand and for a kiss. Honorably, I accept. I lean in and I kiss Rue. <laughs> um, I will stay in that kiss for as long as I can. And I will stay to fay time. What is time? I'm gonna stay there for as long as I possibly can. When the kiss ends, I step back and smile, weeping. You are beautiful beyond words, braver than the morning sun which dispels the night. And there is one injury of yours that must be amended. And I plant my halberd in the ground and I begin to undo my military coat. Leave okay. my cap on the ground. <laughs> okay. I leave my coat. You said that you felt 
alone. Never here. Not while I draw breath. I renounce the Goblin Court in its entirety and forswear all oaths of loyalty to king and kin. If you are orphaned, then so am I, and you will never know a lonely day again as long as I draw breath. You are all I need. And I go again. Uh, and a big passionate kiss. Big furry, furry bugbear yeah. chest. Just two uh, furry yeah, fairies yeah. in the woods. Uh, uh, and that's, that's all that Hob will ever need. Amazing.